is, you know, uh, beyond, beyond their physical needs to actually do it, even though, yeah, better provided. Uh, What's up, everybody? Sorry for the quiet intro, but I'm out here deer hunting on some public land in Georgia. What I'm doing today. this kind of hunting because you're just getting to see so much of the woods that you're hunting. You really get to scout the place out. And I've already seen a lot of bucks on, but all this behind me now, as you can see, I'm where two hardwood bottoms kind of come together and it makes a little bowl right here. And there's a lot of bucks on in here, a ton of bucks on. This definitely seems like an area with a lot of like rut activity, like cruising, a lot of cruising bucks coming up and down these valleys right here. Probably come to this very spot. It's really cool. It's kind of hunting. You gotta, I mean, you gotta be like, I, I call it, you gotta walk like a cat. Because every single footstep matters. And it's just like old Fred Bear said, never step on something that you can step over. Some good advice. All right, another quick update for you guys. <clears throat> I just uh, went up in the little secondary hardwood bottom that ran into that other one where I showed you the bowl. And uh, it's pretty good looking up here. It's pretty open, as you can see. There's a really nice scrape right there. And for, uh, for all you guys who haven't been following us since we started, you probably don't know, but me and Jacob are huge advocates of putting cameras on stuff like that scrape. Even on up into July because they use them year round. They might not, as you can see, the, the ground isn't really scraped up that much. It's got leaves on it. It doesn't look like a fresh scrape. But the licking branches, the licking branches are what they're using all year. So even if the scrape looks dead, there's still a really good chance you got deer on it. So you should try and put a camera out on one, see what you get. But I'm about to beat feet, get up this valley, and uh, Hopefully find a spot to just sit on the ground this evening, but I'll give y'all another update when I get onto the ground. Well, that didn't work as I thought it would. Rain rolled in. Uh, there was another storm kind of behind me that I thought was going to miss me, but it did not, as you can see. Got plenty of rain now. So i got to get off of this dirt road before it turns to slop, because I drive a two-wheel drive truck. Well, I'm in the stand. I'm set up on this pretty nice creek bottom. I'm set up where one creek hits another creek. And there's a point in these pines right here uh, that kind of comes down into this bottom. And it's real hot today. 
in this point is a little bit cooler just because of the kind of vegetation uh, lends itself to a lot more shade and uh, I figured there'd be some deer bedded up in here and I finally reached this spot and started looking around looking for acorns to figure out where to set up and uh, after a while the wind swirled and there was a deer bedded right there where I thought there'd be one bedded and it blew at me and ran off so I don't know what it was but this is clearly a pretty high traffic area so I'm gonna stay set up here even though I blew that one out just to hope for the best slow so far. Ever since I bumped that deer out of this hill right next to me. A few squirrels and what I'm fairly certain was a deer walked across the ridge in front of me. I could just hear it but I couldn't see it but it definitely is either a deer or a hog because it was definitely an animal walking and you could hear it just wrap around the side of the hill. But some time in Georgia. Another deer blew up in that bedding area two times. I don't know what it was blowing at, but I know it wasn't blowing at me because my wind wasn't even coming close to touching it. I was dropping milkweed and wasn't getting close. So I don't know if it was, I don't know what it was blowing at, but nothing came through. So I don't know. It's looking like a good spot though. I think I'm gonna hunt this one more time. There's a lot of fresh tracks around here. The ground's real tore up from where deer have been eating around here. There's a few acorns on the ground, but not many. But what I'm probably gonna do is come in here one more time. And if it doesn't pan out, I'm just gonna abandon this area and uh, move on to one of the other spots I got picked out. But see season is young just getting started hopefully we'll have some deer hitting the ground for y'all pretty soon <laughs>